In Nairobi traffic, these buses are king. Metatas weave through jams with style. Some 18,000 of these vehicles crisscross the roads trying to outdo each other in a bid to attract young passengers. Pimped up bodywork covered in graffiti and roaring engines. The more eye-catching and noisy, the better. Graffiti is more appealing to the eyes and beauty is what attracts someone. Yeah. So with, this, with a material like this, you expect something like free Wi-Fi, music. Like a cloak, you like the better cloak, so you have to make it better so that you attract the customers. Wi-Fi, plasma screens and deafening music, Matatus are clubs on wheels. For 150 shillings or $1.50 Nairobi residents can get the ride of their lives in the Kenyan capital. At the wheel, Matatu drivers zigzag through chaotic traffic. Part rock star, part bad boy, they often a hit with the prettiest girls in town. I'm not the one who always tell them to sit here. They like us. Their choice, their choice. Their choice, they like us. Before hitting the roads, Matatas need several weeks of work. The best graffiti artists in Nairobi get involved and a good design means a spot in the prestigious weekly ranking of the city's coolest Matatas. It's a sizable investment all in all. A Matatu owner needs to invest almost $70,000 and it takes about two years to cover the cost. In Matatu sometimes it's for satisfaction and uh, probably you get more customers because of the because of the, especially the, the, the young lads. Then again, some travelers choose classic matators over their pumped up counterparts, a calmer ride that sets you back just a fraction of the price. Bureau report, ANN7.